Hey guys, welcome to the uh, second episode of uh, Seabass or Thai Seabass streamers. Um, we tie again on a Kamokatsu hook. It's uh, again the SC15 because the package is still full. Size 2.0, good size for Seabass. And again, we stay a fiber like pattern and uh, this time we use uh, EP fibers and we all know that there are a lot of fibers in the market and um, if you for example use the usual EP fibers without any special specialty just plain colors I think they are around 8 euros somewhere like that so uh, I would never ever use them but you can do that of course if you want to um, I would recommend to use uh, just the uh, similar fibers that are available on the market uh, like example um, uh, Big Streamer Fiber but uh, for this fly now I'm using the uh, EP3D fibers um, so these are actually original ones, but that are the 3D fibers. They have a little bit, they just feel a little bit different and they have flesh material in it. Um, it makes tying really quick. You don't have to uh, use, use any flesh material. And uh, we tie them again in one of the best seabass color combinations in uh, white and chartreuse. So uh, just open up the packs, just got them new for making this video and also to fill up my Seabass box and um, you could now pull them out like that but then you will have a big mess that's the problem with the EP fibers so you just take them out and then you take your clumps like that and just sort it out otherwise you'll have a big mess afterwards so uh, you see here it's already the flesh material in it um if you want to save a couple of bucks which is fair um i can understand that then definitely take the uh the fake fibers and just mix some flesh in some angel hair whatever uh will do the trick so we cut them in half to get the lengths for the tail just taper them a bit tie it like that Maybe go a little bit further. Like that. So um, yeah, you can use the other fibers as well. I will tie another pattern with the uh, big streamer fibers as well. Um, they do work really well and they do the trick really well. And you can mix uh, angel hair in it or some Angelina fiber or EP sparker or whatever, and that will all do the trick. But uh, if you just want to do it quick and dirty with two materials, these see P3D fibers, they are quite nice to do it. So we go with the green, just on top. Really easy tying. Just catch the material. I like to go back two thirds of the streamer and just taper it slightly while cut. Like that. Put the fibers aside. And these are the ones we have left over from the uh, first cut when we uh, just cut them around. 50-50 and then taper them again because they will come on the belly side like that Fold it back 
be tying again with the um, 0.1 monofold thread. You don't have to do that, but I like it. It looks really nice and clean then. Just don't put too much pressure on the, on the thread, otherwise the uh, thread disappears. As you can see, really looks good. So we have a, our green fiber left here. It's a bit long, so... Um, Cut it 50-50, put it on top of each other. A little bit thicker head, always good. And just lay it on top of each other, why not? That's well, actually just, you know, just three steps and uh, the fly is finished. Oh, uh, you have to do the cutting, but it's a really, really quick fly and uh, if you want to tie a hundred of it and you do mass protection and you don't really want to have a super super pretty fly you can tie it with a fourth step to pack the material a little bit tighter but then you need way more material and way more time of course and uh, it does the trick like that and it, it is just a compromise between having the perfect look in the fly um, with the same action and uh, the same rate of, 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 of same number of fish probably and well, that was a little bit too much glue never mind and uh, especially if you look at the price of tying material I think it's quite nice if you take one step out and just use three tying steps and uh, finish the fly like that and then we do have, uh, again the cutting and it's done like that. So we just go from the hook eye in a kind of 45 degree angle up just around the head section. Um, we go with the fiber direction so we're giving it a soft cut and not a really aggressive cut against the fibers. Turn the fly and do the same. Cut towards the hook point from the hook eye. Like that. And then, I hope you can see that. It's a little bit tricky. You give it a straight cut here. Or at least I do that. Other people probably do it different. Well, that makes it just really easy. So, uh, head section is nearly tapered. We just round it up a little bit more here, and um, then we give it a straight cut against against the fibers. It's a little bit more aggressive. Brushing it a bit, giving it a straight cut against the fibers here as well. And here, so as I said before, just tape it a little bit on the edge. Cutting is always that what takes most when you make these flies. So when you take a look here, you can see that the gap between the head section and the tail section is a little bit aggressive. And we could change that by using um, just a force um, tying step and just tying one more step into the head section get it a little bit closer but it is not really necessary and uh, it saves you a lot of time and material so I will just keep it like that and you have perfect 
Yippee fly, which catches definitely a lot of fish. And uh, now we have to put some eyes on for the yippee flies. Um, I just use the, the same eyes, the uh, 3D dumbbell eyes. So I'm always losing my stuff, but I uh, found the eyes again. So I've got two eyes here again. Actually, they were just laying in front of me. But if you would see my table in front of me, then you could understand why I couldn't find the eyes. Um, so we're just using it, uh, the E6000 again, like we did in uh, the first video of uh, the sea bass episode. And um, same thing, E6000, 3D eyes, needle. Um, same thing on the, uh, the other side, of course. Like that. And use our eye tool. dry for a second and then And then we have our perfect uh, little EP fiber sea bass fly. Enjoy time. <laughs>